Hello, this tutorial is to discuss about a Java program that display the pattern as a number of stars. So we'll display the logic behind of this particular program. For example, if the number of rows to be displayed is 5, it will display the pattern like this. On the first row, it will display the 5 stars. In the second row, we have to first display a space followed by 4 stars. And in the third row, we have to display two spaces followed by three stars etc so for counting the number of rows we are using an index variable i so we can see that depending upon the value of the number of rows that many number of values have to be taken for i so if the number of rows is pi the value of i will go from 1 to 5 now for displaying the space we are using a variable j so look at the first row in the first row we does not require any space so we are not doing any counting for the value j on the first row on the first row we display how many number of stars we have to display five number of stars so we are using another index variable k for that so k value will range from one to five because we want to display five stars in the second row we can see that we are displaying four stars so we require four counting so we do the counting from two three four five so that makes total four countings and we require one space so we do the counting as one look at the third row in the third row we require two spaces so we are counting from one to two and on the fourth we require three spaces and on the fifth we require four spaces so for four spaces we are counting the value of j from one two three and four and look at the fifth row we require only one star to be printed so we are counting only five so the value of j and k is related to the value of i for example consider the value of i as three so the value of j is ranging from 1 and 2 that means it always starts from 1 and it goes up to i minus 1 for example when the value of i is 3 it is going up to 2 when the value of i is 4 it is going up to 3 and the value of i is 5 it is going up to 4 so it is always i minus 1 so we found the relation between j and i which is j should always start from 1 and it goes up to i minus 1. Now what is the relationship between i and k? We can say that the value of k always starts from the value of i. For example look at the third row the value of k is starting from third and going up to the value of n where n is the number of rows to be printed. So, we can find the final logic between the value, the index variable i, j, and k. The value of i should go from 1 to n. And inside that, the value of j should go from 1 to i minus 1 for printing the spaces. And k should go from i to n for printing the number of stars. Stars followed by one space. So by using this logic, we can print this particular pattern. So we need to consider only three index variable. One is i, which range from 1 to n. Inside that, j ranges from 1 to i minus 1 for printing the spaces. And k ranges from i to n for printing the stars followed by a space. In the NetBeans, we add a new class, Java class, by right clicking on the project. The class name which we have given is Pattern. So, a main class has been created inside our project as Public Class Pattern. We write the main method inside the Pattern class as Public Static Void Main. The main takes a parameter and array of strings.
to accept the number of lines to be printed from the user we require a scanner object a scanner object has been created the name of the scanner object is sc a scanner is used to read the data from the standard input device so we have given the parameter for the scanner as system.in this is a keyboard java.util package has been imported for the scanner object we print a message that enter the number of lines to be printed enter a number now the number can be read from the user by using the scanner object the system uh, s is capital letter the next in method of scanner class can be used to read an integer from the user and the integer value which is the number of lines to be printed is stored into the variable n now for printing the stars and the spaces we use the same logic what we have discussed for iterating through the rows we are using a for loop with an index variable i we know that the value of i should start from 1 and it should go up to n so that's why we have written i is equal to 1 and i is less than or equal to n so it goes up to n now for printing the spaces we require an another for loop with the index variable j the value of j should start from 1 and it should go up to i minus 1 so that is why we have written j is less than i so since we have written j is less than i j will go up to i minus 1 and inside that loop we are printing a space uh, the next for loop we are using for printing a star followed by a space by using an index variable k the value of k should range from i up to n so that's why we have initialized the value of k as i and it goes up to n because k is less than or equal to n so inside that we are printing a star followed by a single space once the one complete row has been displayed that is mean that that means the spaces followed by stars and spaces we goes to the next line by calling the method system.out.println we can see that by pre printing one row that means the space and stars which are required for one row we are using the method system.out.print because after printing the requirements cursor should not go to the next line so execute and see the program output Thank you for watching this video.